before you click on the Hearthstone upload, you click on this video, and I want to show you something. Influence Tracker 3. I promised a card game. We don't have one. But we do have a game that looks like a card game, sort of. And I kind of like it. I admire it. So I will show that. But uh, this is going to be the final update. I promised a card game. I promised a much more... Uh, ambitious influence tracker three but you know shit happens and then your life becomes unbearable and there's a lot of noise and there's a lot of shit to fight against uh choose your enemy it, it seems to be the year but it's just what it is i just you know received shitty neighbors as a gift like any neighbor you can think of and multiply by three because that's how many I got. So it definitely delayed. I was like, fuck it. February, guys. I'll make a card game. But the problem with making games in general is that you have to have a very, very sophisticated engine. And uh, maybe it's better to just make small steps. Instead of trying to leap of faith and see what happens. Because I made already big changes simply by making small steps. I made a lot more progress than I would have if I try to make a card game because it always like kills you inside when there's too much work to do. So this is going to be a final update. Influence tracker for, I don't know, in four months, in six months, fucking meteor can strike me. There's a 50% chance for that happening. There's also fucking Ray Noodles, uh, a showcase of his uh, skills or his uh, absolute failure. You know, I want to see what Bazaar can do. I'll definitely play it. I'll definitely upload a ridiculous amount of videos on it. As long as, uh, you know, people watch it and it's fun and stuff. And when it's not fun, then I will stop. No, but, but, but the hype is up, so I probably will halt even, like, Hearthstone uploads. I don't know. I don't know what I, I'm doing with this channel, to be honest, because the moment I, I jump into uploading other style of content, I don't want to, you know, flood people with shit that I do, right? Like, it's one, one video a day. It doesn't have to be high quality. I don't have to be happy, but it's one video a day, so... Emoji Clash, that's how I call it. Where is it? It's in the other room. There are, like, rooms now that I can navigate through. And that really helps. It's like, you know, window tabs on the browser. You know, so... I have my little rubber buddy, Sponge, maybe. I mean, maybe it's his brother. kind of does the same thing. I scrub off uh, un annoying shit. You don't get the picture, though. You have to add it yourself. And the tutorial is... You, you're not going to do it, basically. That's all I'm saying. There's, there's a need for tutorial. If you want to, like, download Influence Tracker, I'm going to upload video on my main channel, explain every single feature and how to use it and what buttons to press. But this time, we're going to focus on uh, this and how to play it. What the the rules of this game, Emoji Clash. Because there are some rules now. There's five emojis that do certain things. Everyone else has no text, basically. And uh, five of them have hidden text. For now, the rules... Or the way I have thought of the rules, and you click one button and eight emojis pop up, and you can scrub them off if you don't like that. You better not do that, because uh, when you start playing the game, you can't stop. Otherwise, you lost. You conceded, basically, right? Yeah, this is clearly better, because um, there's one emoji already. There's a silent but deadly emoji. That can assassinate all, all this cry, or I mean laughing garbage, basically. So uh, I'll definitely choose that. But once you pick a pile, you have to discard something. 
And uh, this is like better stats. I can't refuse not taking that. Still might be difficult because this guy, when he assassinates something, he actually loses all the attack. He loses two attack. Assassination means like you, you stab, you don't take any damage. That sort of stuff too. So if I lose two attack on this guy, it's over. He can't attack anymore. He's just eliminated himself. He got imprisoned. Stealth attack no longer works at all. Uh, so I have to actually like use him up. And I can't quite do that because I want to do this. This uh, lifesteal minion. And lifesteal in my game is 25%, not 100%. And it doesn't go to your hero. Because there is no hero. There's just minions smashing into each other. So uh, smash. First smash. Didn't lose a single health point. It has drained 7 points. Because it's 25%. Uh, I'm missing 1 point to get 8. And then divide by... 25% you get, you know, 2. So I'm missing 1 point and then I can drain extra health. I can probably even like survive this, but not really. Because it actually calculates how much this guy has health. So he has only 2 health. So if I attack with lifesteal, I will only steal 2 health. Very complicated if you don't know the text. And that's the whole point. That's the whole fun of like trying to figure out what the text actually says. Because uh, me rambling, like, you're not gonna understand. Alright, I win. I have survived. If your minion survives, and this is like with zero attack, like this is some shady shit. But we did it, actually. So, wonderful. I get 13 points. Anything that's left over adds into the point bucket let's go robber remove that shit isn't that cool i feel it's cool bro i feel like i'm it's just a fun little mini game that I, I created and it's just like small steps forward that you can take making games and it's like the simplest thing ever where is that rain at where, where is that i would play that for i don't know four days then you can make updates in one day and i will continue playing for four more days then you make another update it's just that simple that's how games are made so from here we can go anywhere to be honest it's interactive it's semi-automated you can modify the rules if you want you can add a timer for every 100 seconds that you're wasting time and not uh, feeling anxiety, you know, you lose a point. So if you're thinking for way too long, you have to put, a, put up a timer to punish yourself and lose points. To flex on other people that like, oh, oh my god, if for every 10 seconds you can come up with your own rules. That's the fun of it. But, you know, I will standardize a little bit uh, so people uh, know what to do initially this guy has divine shield so i have two guys with um keywords including this now my divine shield guy something fucking popped some fucking google notification garbage anyways this seems like i am eliminating a very weak thing but then it's like it's good because they get a weak thing on their side uh, so uh, you're kind of looking for like three very strong minions and these look very very strong now i will disclose attack goes to 10 hp goes to 15 it's just purely random from 1 to 10 uh if health is one it's going to be a rager if attack is one the emoji is going to be crying but there's just like you know Bluff information. Let's fucking beat this guy. Alright. This guy's scary, bro. We have to be careful with this. We have to eliminate these guys first. The assassins. 
Absolutely. Bam. Divine Shield off. The Halo is out. It's kind of cool, right? Doesn't take damage. Just gets a free attack. The rest is super simple, I think. But I almost picked this team and I completely would have been obliterated. Probably. Mm, uh, not necessarily. Because you get to attack, even if you eliminate one of the emojis after picking the team, you still have a pretty good chance of winning. Alright. Rub this shit off. Pick a team. Mm hmm. Nerds. Nerd is another one of those that does something. This guy has toughness, so he takes one less damage. The most simplest description ever. One less damage from any attacks. So, uh, let's see here. No, we definitely pick the nerds. Nerd just fucking obliterates everyone. Literally one toughness. Take one less damage. It becomes a monster. And the Harson doesn't have it. <laughs> How are you going to power creep without that shit? Well, they they did. They do have it. And those uh, cards are fucking incredibly insane. It, I probably should have removed the Rager. But Nerd is probably just going to obliterate everyone. Except that one. So we can just like... You know. Waste that shit and... Bam, bam, like, it's easy for nerd. Wait, what? Get out of here. What, you think, you think you're cooler than me? Alright, we still, we're still in this. So obviously I have to lose at some point. Ah, and, uh, I will constantly make updates, technically. I'm not sure if that's gonna, that's gonna be a whole update. For the influence try like you will have to wait three months maybe but i can't just call an influence tracker 3.5 it's going to be next version with a bunch of stuff we'll see right i can't just set things in stone like that this seems weak and i get divine shield so i'll take that bam slam if you allow yourself the thing, you will not lose this game, for sure. So I'm not sure exactly how much playtime, it's not gonna be a lot. Like, it's not rewarding you, and there's no progression off or anything. So, uh, for now it's just a concept thing to play with. To learn more about the influence tracker as well, just to have it in Old shit, what the? There's a fucking daily dog barker. Uh, let's keep at it. It's fucking close window, like always. There's a nerd here. And it's pretty scary, but the rest of the gang is kind of shit. But there's this Hulk boy that I wanted to show you. Uh, I'm gonna pick this team because uh, I can probably obliterate these guys. So if this guy takes 3 plus damage, this happens. I double the attack beyond, you know, what's humanly possible. And then I obliterate everyone. Doesn't matter. There you go. Lots of points. You can even, like, bend the rules so you, like, find the maximum amount of points like a puzzle. How do you find the most maximum points? I don't know, man. There's some cool shit you can do. I forgot to add. Add, add. Add some ads, guys. That's what's gonna happen at 1,000 subscribers. There's gonna be a lot of ads in my videos. Every five minutes, there's an ad. Install influence tracker. Install cookies for your browsers to track for me to track your data this we definitely can't lose with this one shit am i gonna lose ever because like this is just gonna obliterate man like we always do 
But I, I don't play until we lose. That's the whole point. Uh, was that necessary? Because you don't want to lose attack straight away. Obviously, that's a misplay. Bam. Got max points, pretty much. Uh, eight plus seven. If you can't do math, you can just, like, do this. I will do it for you, man. I'm a good boy. What else do we get? It's all randomized, of course. And I've shown all the keywords. And I've basically explained all the rules. Why did you watch my video? What's going on? But I want to see if there's some funny scenarios that can happen. So I definitely like play this out. And again, add more features as I play. To tease you guys with features. And then release a way too advanced version that you don't want to play because it's too fucking complicated or something. I would never do that. Oh, this just snipes all of them pretty much. Wow, this... Now I got it. I need math now, for sure. So, um... 6, 16, 15... Jesus Christ. We just oblit what? Um, I should have removed one of these from my collection since I chose a pack. Obviously, I would win every single game if I don't remove one of them. Don't nerf myself. But you get to choose, I have decided. I have lost many games, guys. This is not a joke. So I have a Okay, okay, we have something. We're gonna have a pretty good matchup then. Alright. This should be fun. Ah. Let's do the Vine Shield. Kill that first, like we always do. Bam, this doesn't matter. This barely matters. Shit, that was not difficult at all. Now, I'm probably flexing. I don't know how easy it is for people to play this out. Because you still need to learn the controls. Like, you, you click the wrong button and just, wow, summon an angry man. Damn. Scary stuff. Okay, now it looks pretty weird, but I would still pick anything that has keywords in it, but these guys, like, look tough. Alright, let's fucking go. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go. We can do this. So definitely this happens. Um, fucking Hearthstone Solitaire, absolutely. And it's gonna get so much more complicated. So technically, I would ramp up the difficulty every single time. I would be able to, like, track your level and shit. Technically. Technically. The task will, like, modify. I don't know, man. It's weird. I'm not sure how I will do this. But I would also be able to split lanes of, like, click one, choose one, automate even more stuff. I don't know. Everything is supposed to be, like, random. Simply because we don't know where we're going with this. Neither of us know. I lost. There's no winning play here. Everything loses. Fuck. See? I know, I, I see the future. And it sucks. See? See where we at? Fucking sucks, man. Here we are. I lost. <laughs> I took the challenge, and I knew it's going to be fucking impossible. I don't know. Well, you can't reset back to normal, but you can summon, custom summon. 1550, you know. 
I'm crying. I hope you can. Yeah, you can summon crying. Uh, 14, 5, rage. Yeah, you can. There's some emojis you can summon. You can summon a nerd. I guess. If you want to. You can even change the uh, emoji. What could I do? Upside. Let's do that. Upside down. Drain. Drain all of them. Let's go. So it's a little bit of a playground, and I love that shit. I, I don't normally encounter playgrounds games like minecraft is the best example we have to this day of just an endless playground but it gets boring eventually because it feels like sand eventually like building sand castles being on the beach with a bunch of people who do random things as well and uh, eventually uh, someone touches a miner and <laughs> the game explodes so i don't know man I don't know if Minecraft is good enough anymore. Alright, look at this. What a cool trade, by the way. 3-8 is weaker than a 4-4. Well, in my hands, at least. In my hands, because you would never make this trade. Like, it's the worst. Plus one attack. Absolutely. I'm a... I'm a havoc on this guy. It's a perfect trade for me. What else can I do? Um, just lose the game. Of course. <laughs> well, fuck me. I guess there was no chance. Unless Rager somehow can, like, pull the... I... What, what just happened? Did I black out? How did I win? I killed this and I killed that and I was killed. Oh my god. I thought I lost. Even my brain farted, bro. What the hell? That's crazy. I love this shit, man. Oh, we have Hulk. Let's go. Let's pick that. Abs oh, but there's Train Man. Shit. It's, it's gonna be fucking fabulous. Because I'm a... <laughs> One shot this drain man. Bam! Slam out of here. That's how we, we roll, bro. Shit. Alright. We're fine. We're fine. We got 10 points. I should have reset by now. I'm flexing a little bit by doing, uh, by stacking these points right now. The moment I lost, you just, like, reset, right? I'm not gonna tell you which buttons to press, but... You have to learn the VSD controls... On, on every button, so this would reset. But I'm just, I'm just saying, you gotta pay attention. This is... This is the re most retention I will ever get in a video. Because you have to learn shit. Anyways, just keep going. Until something interesting happens. Because the game is simple, I'm, I'm telling you. Like, It's the other things that are not simple in the influence tracker. The, every little detail that I have to explain, you know, like, that's going to be hardcore. But introducing a mini game that I made in like a day? <laughs> I mean, sure. Just to occupy you until I hit you with the you know what rates 14 keep going you can suck in a mm, spongebob so I you don't want to touch rubber it's not gonna be good but again, like, you can't have this. You have to insert your own images into a special folder, assign a folder. 
and then you can pull it out and it's still gonna mess up things in case you care about the file name so i'm i'm just saying bro this is an exclusive guy on the board right now <laughs> obviously this there's nothing interesting going on right now so i'm gonna try and pick some footage before i leave of something interesting happening it's kind of funny like he's looking at health if you do so if you touch this it's a dislike emoji um i've decided because i had to assign all these emojis and all that crap and uh it's gonna be more we can discover so much more with this it does require discovery like everything has to click into place for it to be in the game, right? <laughs> that looks good. But not interesting. Now, I had this whole setup before. I just needed to polish. And uh, that's why I'm able to, like, release it and not, not pretend that it's a big deal. When I'm actually making a, a card game... That's going to be a big deal. This is just whatever. This is 13, so it's bigger, but like min-maxing like this against the time limit, for example. That's not fun at all. Why would I choose this ever? Against nerds. No. Was I scared of this guy? Because I removed something. This would assassinate my rager. So I gotta fucking pick this. Assassination, like, he attacks first. And then it resolves. So it's basically quick attack. Uh, I didn't really explain it until now. Funny enough. We win. Let's keep it going. Wait, oh, assassination. So we get extra points. It would be fair to modify rules that if you have, like, a keyword emoji, they don't collect any points. Because they're fucking OP anyways. Yeah, this, this one's gonna win too, but there's a lot of trading that will happen here. Alright, let's, let's see it. Wait. We have to unlock this. And now we have to start draining. Try to get exact trades here. Huh. I can do this. It's it will still drain, huh? Yeah, it's all good. They have no chance. They had no chance. I, you could add additional final boss if you had like a hundred points. You have to beat five just to get through that loop and feel like through that hoop and feel like a fucking superhero when you do it. Because if I'm collecting this many points, maybe I can beat tw I, I can beat five of them. But it's definitely a risk that you're taking, so let's fucking go. Uh, how do we summon another one? I'll show you, I'll show you. It's all good. I was worried, though. There you go. Quick minion. Five of them. So which side do I choose? It has to be with emojis. Now do something, bro. Because I will lose this one. No! Confidence. That's a funny one. Like, when you feel really confident, you have to win at least one. You can definitely come up with some cool shit here. Alright. So, I, I'm i not confident. <laughs> I'm not that confident. Maybe like a bonus, right? Confidence bonus. Oh, shit, bro. Maybe like... 
add a hundred points if you beat five of them. A hundred points. If you're really confident, go for it. I love that. I'm gonna I'm give you a hundred points for that. So let's uh, do a final match where I'm like, I feel confident and I want to fucking fight five dudes. I didn't even add points. Who cares right now? Oh, this is this is going to be fucking good. Let's summon an op additional opponent. Five versus three. <laughs> this is where it fucking feels like something different, bro. Let's go. So uh, there's that guy. I mean, he's toasted. This guy's toasted. Um. Oh, now, now we're in trouble. Even if this heals by two, this doesn't out heal anything. Anything at all. So we just gotta sacrifice it and get that trade. We didn't win. <laughs> the confidence rounds. Oh, man. That's good, bro. That's good. This... <laughs> we were close. Uh, but fine. Who who can beat it, guys? Who is so? Who is gonna beat the confidence? Where's three versus five? See you guys next time. I want to see footage of that, guys. Send me.